All right. Good evening, Wednesday. Welcome to the whole lot of Zep Channel Diecast. I'm Rick. And today, or this evening rather, we are actually going to be doing the drawing for the Traveling Diecast. Um, I was fortunate enough to have it for the holidays, uh, but it's time to ramble on. So I'm going to do a drawing. And the only two people that said they wanted in was Hot Wheels, Hunter, Akron, and Diecast Clown. So what I did was I took a bunch of these pieces of paper with each one's initials on a whole bunch of them. So in my hat, I have a bunch of HWHA and a bunch of DC. So I'm just going to throw these two in here. I just wanted you to see them. I'm going to throw them in the hat. I have to fold them up first. So if you don't mind, I'm going to... I don't have my phone on my tripod because it's, it's going to be a quick thing and I can't use the tripod pod while we're doing a... a a drawing here so I need to put you down for a second or if I can give you to my daughter and she can video Led Zeppelin and not me. <laughs> there it is. What's up? Yay! <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake the hat. I got a whole bunch of names well two names but a whole bunch of two names and then I'm just gonna have my daughter grab one so I'll take the camera back DC let's get a close-up look at that diecast clown you are the new recipient of the Traveling Diecast. Congratulations, brother. Um, that was the fairest way I could do it. I know David Beeson did something similar, but he did it with a quarter. Um, it, it is kind of difficult when there's just two people. Um, so, uh, um, that's, it, it just, it's unfortunate for one person, and that's just, Unfortunately, that's how it is, but uh, Hot Wheels, Hunter, Akron, um, uh, sorry you didn't uh, you didn't win that one, uh, but I'm sure there will be plenty of other opportunities. Um, uh, uh, DC Diecast Clown is the, uh, the, the new recipient, so congratulations to Diecast Clown. You will be receiving this plus a box full of goodies that Ireland and I had reloaded after the box of goodies uh, that David Beeson had sent um, there's still a large majority of those goodies in the box because like I said my daughter and I are not uh, we're, we're, we're not gluttons um, we like to share just as much as everybody else so um, Diecast Clown, congratulations, buddy. Um, I'll be shipping this out, uh, probably tomorrow. So I'll be able to start shipping out these other packages within the next two weeks. Um, so, um, my other friends will be expecting some RAOKs, uh, in the near future. And I will be, uh, emailing you and letting you know. Uh, with a tracking number when things are being shipped out. Um, I just wanted to give a, a, a quick uh, shout to... Um, actually, no, he asked me not to say anything, so never mind. Uh, skip that. <laughs> Pretend I didn't say anything. Um, it was something about uh, uh, an email that Mike Dyson had sent me, but he asked me not to say anything to... Uh, somebody specific 
so I promise I won't say anything. Um, I almost slipped up. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, again, congratulations to Diecast Clown. Um, you will be receiving this shortly. I'll let you know uh, when it's mailed out, and I will send you the tracking number. Congrats, buddy. And you've been watching a whole lot of Zep Channel Diecast here. Uh, and, uh Wow, I butchered that one. Haul out of Zep Diecast Channel. There we go. That's better. And I'm Rick. And I will be back on in a little bit as I am going to be doing a challenge that um, our friend Mark Woodruff um, asked uh, to do for him. So um, I'll be back on with that challenge. Um, I'll explain the challenge real quick. What it is is... The year you were born, you want to show diecast cards from that year if you want to join in on the challenge. I think it's a pretty cool challenge. So for me, I was born in 1969, so I'll be showing a lot of 1969 diecast. Well, not a lot. I'll be showing some. If I was showing the amount that my age is, I'd be showing a hell of a lot. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. And I'm sure you guys could do the math and figure out how old I am anyway. Um, and I'll even throw in a couple of uh, 62 cars for uh, Mark Woodruff. Uh, sorry, buddy. I just gave your, your B-date away as well. Um, but that's what it is. It's uh, cars um, on your birthday year. So... Again, if you were born in 1970, you'll do 1970 cars. If you were born in 1965, you'll do 1965 diecast. Um, it's a cool challenge. So I'll be back on in a little bit with that challenge. Uh, so I will be talking to you soon. I will catch you on my next video. Take care.